Door Mail, home of a great night's sleep. I can change my patterns, my karma, my, the causes I make that get the effects that I have by chanting. And I've looked into it quite deeply um, from a, a neurological perspective, because there has been a bit of science on this particular chanting and other vibrations. <laughs> Happy days. How's everyone? Oh, well, I must tell you, I've had some real shenanigans going on. Um, Ooh, good. At my house. Absolutely, at darling. My house. Yeah. You know the um, Dixon of Doc Green? People will remember that. That yes, show? Yes. Those gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they, they've been knocking on my door. Lots <gasps> of um, Dixons, yes, of Doc Greens, yes. That sounds a theme. That sounds absolutely... It's <laughs> lots of Dicks. Lots of Dicks have been knocking on your door. <laughs> Anyway, go on. <laughs> yes, well, it, 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 it turns out that in the next field has been, there are lots of sort of beautiful um, erected um, build, shed like It's getting buildings. worse. Now you're saying erected. Yeah. Yeah. Dear God. Dear. Erected shed like bu buildings. Yes. And apparently certain shenanigans have been grown there. And Ooh. en masse, en masse. And all the Dixons are coming around knocking on the door. And have you have you seen anything untoward, madam? And I go, no. Do they really no. speak like that, dear? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, Going back to one of them went, here, mate, here, mate. It sounds like something from the two Ronnies, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> I'm like a cartoon. <laughs> or Z cars, ladies. darling. Z cars. Z cars. I don't remember that. What is that? No, I was going to say. Don't that lie. Not before you were born, Harriet. Yes, darling. Thank yes, you, dear. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Outcome, is there an outcome to this story or not? Well, no, I was going to say they're still outside. They're so still there. Importantly, did you get any of the product? Uh, um, no, not yet, but I'm sort of snooping around, see, snooping around looking. Yes, Magic And um, smelling, smelling. Get your lawnmower, get the lawnmower out there. <laughs> do, you, do you think the case of the Wonderbirds, I mean, you know, it might be another, another, one, another case for the Wonderbirds to crack? It I could be. It might. It could yes. well be. It could be. Very we have good. to go. Wonder birds, Wonder birds will have to go. Uh, I was going to say underground, but I didn't mean that. <laughs> undercover. To, yeah, somebody. I think we need to bring our guest in. I think we need to bring our guest in. Yeah, let's bring mm -hmm. the guest. Yes, who's coming in? Absolutely. Oh. Well, well, you know what? She would love this, but it is the mo most amazing guest today, as always. She's a visionary, a writer a supporter of women's issues, and she is a game changer. And it's the wonderful Lynn Franks. Hello. 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 Yes. Who is this? Who is this? Lovely to see you, beautiful women. Yeah, so here's my new member of my family. It's called Bear. You can hardly see oh. him. He's got little foxy faces, little spits, and he's just Bear. a few weeks old, and he's the most adorable oh. thing in the world. And my other dog, Noodle, who's been with me forever, who's looking at me with disdain from the sofa, absolutely <laughs> hates him. So I, on top of my work, I'm running between the puppy, feeding him the cat and the dog, and... Oh, 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 oh Lynn, you're in good company because we've all got dogs, all of us. And, and I've got a bear and, as well. Yes, oh, and a bear? Debbie's oh, got a bear. What, what, breed, what breed is bear? Bear looks, well, he was called Bear because I mean, I delivered him, of course. I didn't give birth to him, but I feel as if I did. Um, and he is, believe it or not, he's a, he's a springer door, but he looks, he's like half, he looks like a sort of a, he looks like a smallish lab, but in fact, he's quite big. But yeah, he's mine's very half, Mine's a half lab, Noodles, she's like a small lab. Okay, yeah. when he wriggles away, he might have to be put back into the kitchen. You're going to be Aww. good. Anyway, Aww. thank you. How are you, Welcome Lynn, back, tell darling. Us, tell thank us you. all. Because you look beautiful as always, oh, and I love you. the, your, the, the backdrop. It's the be the beautiful flower in the background. Oh, my seed, you know, my lovely seed branding, which uh, is getting very busy indeed. I've been very proud of the work I've been doing. Since I'd I love to hear, Lynn. I'd love to hear all about your new retreats because there's a lot of new ones coming up, aren't there? Where are um, the retreats are coming up? I've been working. I'm sure I mentioned it when I was last on the show, but I, I've completely lost track of time but I've been developing <laughs> these um these seven archetypes I'm sure I talked about it. the power of seven 
and they're yeah. all feminine archetypes from medicine yeah. storyteller and so on so they have developed into retreats and i'm on i'm doing online coaching with groups of seven and we've actually we're starting again at the beginning of november november the second and there are two places left in a very very intimate group of lovely women of seven women so if anybody oh. of your audience would like to come and join me for, for these seven sessions but anyway it's just an hour and a half on a saturday morning every three weeks and takes you through the whole journey of the power of seven and it really puts your your our own archetypes representing our chakras or representing our different practical aspects of ourselves as well as the personal like the storyteller rewrites our own narrative as well as telling stories outside um as a part of what we do as a living um <laughs> so those get in alignment those become sort of in balanced harmony when we get the seven right and i've been teaching them over the summer to teenagers uh in somerset so i've been working with a group of young of young girls between the ages of 16 and 19 some of whom have got quite um troubled backgrounds and uh it was phenomenal. I mean, I worked every week for seven weeks with the, using the same power of seven archetypes with these 16, 17 year olds who totally got it. And so they were writing poetry and making jewelry and um, also um, sewing, re upscaling their clothes with patches, which are mandalas. They totally got it all. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just so beautiful. And I think the relationship we wise women can have with the teenagers, you know, yeah. how old your children or grandchildren are. Is, is the best really it's the baby boomers and the um and the sort of 20 under 20s or just over anyway that's what i've been doing so we're developing mm. that's going ahead that's really going on mm. lynn, um, lynn yeah. what is it what is a sky dancer a sky dancer is all about relationships it's right. all about relation first of all relationship with yourself but it's the tantric networker is one way i put it but it's how you bring people how that aspect of ourselves that very naturally connects with other women and brings women together not because we want something out of it it's not here's my business card there's yours i mean there are always always there are always ways we can connect and collaborate and do things together and that's what's so exciting but it's mm. really being very graceful and i didn't even know when i kind of sort of channeled these words through the sky dancer was um an ancient is part of indian mythology and is the the temple dancer the sort of very beautiful ah, elephant, um, yes possibly known as temple prostitutes i think they might have been as well but anyway mm. um that was the sky dance so bringing people together bringing that beautiful energy together and the space weaver space weaver is the artist the inner artist so the space weaver is that side of ourselves that loves to create beautiful objects or paint beautiful pictures. I mean, this um, bracelet was put together by um, my partner in my seed shop, actually, who gets loads of old buttons and things and then makes these beautiful bracelets. And I always call her our space oh. because she makes beautiful things and spaces. And we've all got that in us, but um, yeah. we, we do a lot of workshops with that as well. It's teaching other women how to have that confidence to be creative and making and crafts. So that's a big part of what we do at Seed. And just one more, the wisdom keeper. Well, the wisdom keeper is really all of us. It, it's, um, I would say, our main archetype because it's that, it's the woman or the part of us that is the woman who is experienced, who has achieved and attained wisdom by our, through our lives and by our experiences and who holds the values and holds the space for others, whether it's uh, younger women or projects um i'm sorry i keep looking away <laughs> there's a fight going on <laughs> no, no, it's so so um but uh yeah so the wisdom keeper i the, the first one i always talk about is the is the seed seller and the seed seller is that part of us that sort of creates the vision for our life or creates new ideas the creative and i am trying to at this point in my life move from being the seed seller more over to the wisdom keeper so encouraging oh. and really holding the space for younger women and their ideas um, and support them, mentor them, and then take them through um, to where they want to go, holding their value. So I've been doing a lot of one-to-ones actually with, oh. uh, with, with business women and uh, <clears throat> mostly women in transition who've had huge careers or you know huge professional jobs and are looking for something mm -hmm. which is more meaningful mm -hmm. for them and seeing how that is really 
flowing with the rest of their lives. Um, so, and, and you know, let's face it, women get to 45 plus and we are in transition. I mean, the whole of life are in transition, really. Mm. Well, really because of the do... pandemic, because of the pandemic as well, people pandemic. have got to a stage where they don't want to go back to what they were doing That's and right. they want to create something new. That's yeah. right, that, menopause and, and just a- And everything. <laughs> <laughs> and a fresh look at, uh, well, this is a bit older than menopause, but a, a fresh look at their lives. Mm. You know, empty nesters, kids leaving home. Um, but I think, I think, Lynn, I think the thing is that you get to a certain stage in your life as well where you suddenly realise that the things that mattered to you don't matter anymore. The things that were important, that you had to strive for, you're suddenly looking the wrong way. You know, you, you think, well, well, these things don't, how weird, it doesn't mean anything. I remember many, many years ago when I was about 24 going to a nightclub and I came back to my mum and I said to her, I don't enjoy it there anymore. I think there's something wrong with me. And she oh. said to me, I think you're growing up. And I didn't understand what she meant because I thought I was, oh, there must be something wrong with me. I don't like it there anymore. I and you know, it depends just, on, I guess, the nightclub because I still love going dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but it was just, I think it was the same people. You know, I just kept seeing the same people. Yeah. I thought that it wasn't, I wasn't growing anymore. Well, I and think I, that's I, what life's about, isn't it? It's about growing all the time. So whether we get, exactly. you know, through our you, divorces, through our children leaving home, whatever yeah. it may be, everything. Or our losses. Do you, find, do you find online work has built for you as well? because yes, of the yes. pandemic. I mean, we, we still, I still have my lovely hub down here in Somerset in Canton. So we still have people coming to stay and we have live retreats here. You must come and visit Harriet. Oh, yes. Here, all of you. And uh, Dee's of course been. And then I've got the cafe, which is, we started doing women's gatherings once a month again, which are absolutely full up now. That's we're on our third this month. So it's like coming back to life. And then I've got the beautiful shop next door. So yeah. I've kept that going, but online, I've always been online, but definitely mm. the online has grown without question. Yeah. So we have an online club now, the seedhub.club, where women join and they're working together on how they can, they've become friends. It's been fantastic to watch women from all over the country yeah. become friends through Zoom. They've never met in real life. I've never met staff, half of them in real life, and yet we've become a community. See, that mm -hmm. is the real bonus, isn't it, of what's transpired, is this sense of being together mm -hmm. like we are now. Yes. You know? yeah. yeah. It's the next best thing. And Lynn, I loved the retreat, as I said last time. And I'd love to come back because it was just Hi. a, you, you know, we, you say about being a game changer. And I would say that you definitely were for me because that weekend or those three days that I spent with you, you changed a lot of stuff for me. I mean, I know that we did it together, you'd say, but, you know, that I've still got the vision board where I had the Aww. wonder girls on there, yeah. <laughs> which is amazing. And so many things. And I look at it every morning and it was just such a sort of, it was a game changer for me just to be there I'm and so I, I honestly I just I think it's just it was the most amazing experience and it's your energy and the healing that I had and I had the Reiki um from one of the ladies that worked with you and and I had a really bad back when I arrived and it just it healed my back and I, I, it's never come back in that way wow. I, I was in agony That's wonderful no yeah. when I, I first when, when I first met you yes. Sorry, Harriet, yeah. yeah. When I first met you years ago, um, <laughs> I think I was in my late twenties and I started chanting because of you. I actually chanted for my husband, so I, I don't blame you though. Um, <laughs> but, but it I was- I remember you telling me that. that was... <laughs> it was transformative. You know, oh, again, oh. there were other things outside of what we thought we knew. And that was the amazing thing. Yeah. 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 Well, I still going... chant actually. I mean, I chant every day and- um... Lynn, tell us about the pendulum. Well, this is a pendulum. This is, for example, this is another one that's a bit bigger. I sell them here in the shop mm -hmm. and um, I use them. It's a bit like dousing, really. And uh, if you want to ask it a question, um, it moves a certain way. You know, I've seen it. So it's either yes or oh, no. Yeah. For everybody, it's different. Yes. So if I say yes, my name is Lynn. It's going to go like this. My name is Sherry. It's good. Did you see it change direction? And I did not do Brilliant. that. Oh, oh my god that's no my name is sherry my name is lynn and i am definitely not oh well, you know, who knows how, how, how maybe our, our unconscious well, I, want mind. To, I want to ask the question then can yeah. you ask we've been nominated for an award are we going to win it okay <laughs> are the girls going to win an award i don't even like to say this <laughs> no, no. Go. <laughs> uh, let's ask another question. Ask question. Are they going to be very even more successful than they are now? 
as a group, as Wonder Women? Are Wonder Women going to go on to be bigger and more successful and even more fabulous? Whoa, yes, yes they are. Yes, so, oh, it's got a so big... Oh, it's a big, big yes. It's a big yes. That's a big so I yes. I use this. I use oracle cards, and I I surround myself with all these angel cards. So just during the day, I just check in. Am I? Am I? Where am I today? I'm just uh, it's quite fun. So I charm. Yeah, I love it all. I think it it's kind of really ancient ways that bring us back to who we were before all well, the witches got killed off. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, never I never understood chanting. Is it no. sort of? Um, I mean, I, I've never done it because I wouldn't know how to, I wouldn't even know how to start. But is it like meditation? Um, yes, it is. Yeah. It's out loud and it's vibrational. And there's lots of different chanting, lots of different chanting. But the one I do, which is out of Nishirin Buddhism, out of Japan, I, I can say now it's Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Yeah, I do that. So, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. What is that supposed to do? So that what well, what it means in in ancient that Sanskrit is I devote myself to the mystic law of karma, cause and effect through vibration. And what it's saying is I can change my patterns, my karma, my the causes I make that get the effects that I have. By chanting, and, and I've looked into it quite deeply um, from a, a neurological perspective, because there has been a bit of science on this particular chanting and other vibrations, and it actually raises up our consciousness, and it can actually affect our oh. brain in a neurological yes. way. When we're chanting something specific, it, it out loud, the vibration itself can make changes, attract in what you want in your life. I've done it. I mean. They used to joke about it in the 80s. They would call it Design and Buddhism in the Face magazine, due to yeah. me. And it was all about chanting for a, a, chanting for a uh, parking space. Husband. Because, husband. Actually, or a husband. And, and Lynn, <laughs> it's true, it isn't it? it <clears throat> Lynn, you yeah. came up with the, the tagline Design of Buddhism, didn't you? I didn't. My friend who's a journalist came up with it about me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, mm. it, was, it was just the, the time of designers. I... Got, I had half the fashion industry chanting at that time because that was when I was running London Fashion Week and all those things. So you'd, you'd be sitting in the tents in the morning before the fashion show started, the hairdressers, the show producers, the designers, we'd all be sitting there, and I'm your and I'm your <laughs> And it was like, <laughs> the energy was incredible. Yeah, I haven't so, done it for um, years, but it was a very calming thing. It was just a repetition. It was like singing a song. It was like, and it let other thoughts in, but I haven't done it since the husband, obviously. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Yeah. What you wanted. Yeah, Lynn, so it's like what Lynn, you want and what you I, need. <laughs> Lynn, can I ask you where your retreats are? You may, and thank you for asking. They are in my beautiful hub, which Dee has been to, as she was saying, which really is very nurturing, in Wincanton, in Somerset. So I'm very near, I'm five minutes up the road from Bruton, which is all, always in the press, very trendy, lovely Bruton. Then I'm half an hour from Glastonbury, half an hour from Froome. I'm right in the middle of what's going on in the Southwest. And there's a lot going on in the Southwest, actually. It's funny, I've only been living down here for four years, but it's amazing. There's always interesting um, events, everything going on. Everything's going on down here. Anyway, um, so that's where I am. And I have here this space, beautiful space for people to come and stay, the lovely bedrooms. They're all eco bedrooms, but very feminine and uh, vintage decorated. And then we have workshop space. And I'm actually, in fact, the room I'm in now, which is very big, I don't know if you can sort of see, it goes back quite a long way. Yeah. And um, Ooh, so what, yes. animals all over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some other desks in here and have, um, it is a co-working space for people, women, that want to come down perhaps and write a book, want to get the first, want somewhere quiet and peaceful where they're looked after maybe for a week or a month or perhaps do some just some deep thinking. So even though they're here, I mean, they can have access to me, but it's really just staying in a beautiful bedroom, getting looked after and having some quiet space where they can create. So Fantastic. we're going to be doing that. Um, yeah. Well, maybe it the Wonder Birds should come down there and do a Wonder Birds Ooh, thing from you great. and you. Oh, what a great idea. We could yeah. do a Wonder Bird live from the hub. <laughs> oh my well, God, yeah. we'll do that. That would be brilliant. And we could we get love that. great local people in, to, you know, well-known, I'm sure, people that Yeah, use and, and bring everybody in and they can, you know, see what's happening and what we're doing. And you can see if you can sort our heads out. 
you won't because no. uh, and it's too late. Does that mean I have to, that. Sit, does that mean I have to sit close to it? Everybody in the working space. This is much nicer. I don't have to sit. <laughs> oh, you don't have to meet them in person. No, you yeah. don't have to meet them. That's part of it. But we could do that in the spring, and we could even yeah, do let's it women's that. gathering. So we could do a dinner. We could do a live thing in the day, and then the dinner we can have let's a night. Have lots of women come and meet you, and then I can interview. Oh, I'd love I can that. interview you, all four of you, at the yes. same time. That would that be that would be brilliant. Thank you. Right, it's, it's a date. You're on, darling. Definitely. You're on. Brilliant. You heard it here first, folks. Well, let's thank you. Thank you. And actually, the minute we come off this, we're going to be looking at our diaries to arrange a date to come and see you. Yeah, I, I no, really I mean, think we are. You know, so keep, that, so keep, that, keep the pendulum going. If you want to get a pendulum, I can get, get them for you. Always yes, please. Always teach you. And also, <laughs> it's very good with wellness. Like, if you're not feeling too good, and it's sort of like, should I take some more vitamin C today? Or what should I do? You know, I actually wow. do a lot of healers use pendulums, a lot of healers. So if, if, I, if I say, can I have some more salted caramel Hagen dars <laughs> whether I can, it'll oh. say yes. I sat and had a whole bar of salted chocolate last night to myself. <laughs> it will be a I didn't ask yes. permission. I didn't ask permission. I just did it and suffered the consequences. You know, <laughs> Berlin, you, they, they used to do the pendulum to see what the baby was, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, that's right. right. Yes, right. I use it for the baby. And yes, yeah. I mean, they, they, they use by all, all sorts of people. I mean, if you have a dowsing stick, which works on the same principle, you know, the old men with the, and women with the dowsers, they find water in the ground. So it's 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 very powerful. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. thank wonderful. you, darling. Well, well thank, thank you, Liz. See, see, see you soon. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Liz. Bye. 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 Ooh, we're going to Ooh. Sunset. Thank you so well, much. Oh, isn't so that wonderful. fabulous? I've got to say, the chanting thing, as I said, I haven't done for years, but I would suggest don't chant for a husband because it doesn't always work out. Yes, but darling, you might get the what, wrong you didn't chant, what you didn't you chant got, for Harry, was a lovely you husband. Your, you have to Harry, be specific. Yeah, Harry, you've got your babies, you've got your husband and you've got oh, your no, I got No, no, I got all that. It's, yeah. no, no, 100%. I don't regret any of that. It's just, you know, the fairy tale dream. One chance for yeah. reality is something different, as we all know. Yes. Oh, darling, yes, we do. Yes, yes, you've got to chant for the right person, I think, that will be with you forever. Yes, yeah. And besides yeah. which, now is possibly the right time to meet someone forever, as we, you know, as we're in but our sort of... As we're over 25, years. yes. Barely. In our dotage. <laughs> <laughs> Such a lovely with word. With our that. shollies. Now we're in yes, our dotage. Yeah. Now we are in our dotage. It's about time we said goodbye. And we will see yeah. you Ta next week. Ta Ta yes. Have a lovely Bye. weekend. Bye. 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 Your mail, home of a great night's sleep.